hello everyone welcome back to seek and find learning so today in this video we will discuss about the national park and the wildlife sanctuaries in arunachal pradesh and also in addition we will cover the project tigers in uh, arunachal so before starting i have a question that which department manages the national parks and wildlife sanctuaries of arunachal pradesh okay if you know it uh, then that's very good and if you don't know let's learn it together the answer is the Department of Environment and Forest. So my video's main source has been taken from the official website of the Department of um, Environment and Forest, Government of Arunachal Pradesh. So this is the official website page. You can see it here. And uh, sorry to say that um, I found many information outdated and not updated. So please bear with me. So let's start. Um, according to the protected areas of the Department of Environment and Forest of Arunachal Pradesh, there are eight wildlife sanctuaries, one orchid sanctuary, and two national parks in the state covering an area of 9488.48 square kilometer. That is 9488.48 square kilometer. So um, we'll start with the national park. First, let's see the map of the protected areas of the uh, of Arunachal Pradesh. So I'm covering only the ones given in the official map. Um, you can see it here. The pink shed represents the wildlife sanctuaries, and the green shed, the national parks. Namdapa National Park. It is located in the Miao Sab division of the Changlang district. In Changlang district. And um, it was established as a national park in the year 1972. In the month of October. And it was declared as a tiger reserve by the government of India on 15 March 1983. Four cat species of tigers are found here, and um, in one GK book I read that uh, later on it was declared as a World Heritage Park by UNESCO, but I think they have not got the formal designation yet, so I'm not so sure about it. The total area is said to be 1985.23 square kilometer. Namdapa is in fact the name of a river which originates from the Pabum and meets Noa Dehing River. This river flows right across in the north-south direction of the national park and hence the name Namdapa has been given. And in local uh, language, Nam means water or river and Dapa means a clan of the Singpo tribe. Moling National Park it is located in the Upper Siang district under Jengeng subdivision. Jengeng subdivision and it is almost in the border of Upper Siang and West Siang. It was established in the year 1986 and it covers an area of 483 square kilometer. The name Moling has been derived from the highest peak name Moling as per local faith and belief. And it is also said that Moling is an Adi word which uh, means red poison or red blood derived from or extracted from a plant which is found in the Moling area only. And other sources also say that Moling has been derived from two words in Adi that is Among means soil or land and Yelling means red from Among Mo and uh, from yelling ling uh, therefore it can be read as um, red soil or red land also it is said that there is no good road communication to make the park accessible even many local people have never visited the park thus the land still remains as a mystery for both local people as well as for nature now coming to wildlife sanctuaries there are eight wildlife sanctuaries in Arunachal Pradesh as part the official uh, website um, Pakke Wildlife Sanctuary comes under the Pakke Kesang district of Arunachal Pradesh. Here, note that before the formation of Pakke Kesang district, it was in the East Kameng district. 
so in almost every GK books and even in the official website, it is still written as East Coming District. I think they have not updated yet. And uh, since I wasn't so sure about it, I consulted some of the natives of the region and most of them say it comes under the new district, Pakke Kesang now. Still then, if you are a native watching this video, then you can comment down in the comment box. But in Arunachal exams, oftentimes we see many outdated questions. So in exam, if in the option there is East coming and no Pakke Kesang is an option, then tick the East coming district. Since Pakke Kesang is one of the latest districts form, question can be asked is, what is the headquarter of Pakke Kesang? Then the answer is Lemmi. And um, Pakke Tiger Reserve is the second tiger reserve of Arunachal Pradesh, covering an area of 861.95 square kilometer. And the protected area falls within the land area of Pakke River and Kaming River. Itanagar Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located in the Papumpare district of Arunachal Pradesh. Papumpare. Itanagar Reserve Forest was declared as Itanagar Wildlife Sanctuary. The capital of Arunachal Pradesh Itanagar is located within the sanctuary and it covers an area of 140.30 square kilometer. The state bird of Arunachal Pradesh, that is the magnificent hornbill, used to be found in the sanctuary but their population came down drastically due to the loss of habitat. However, the wildlife is still available in a fair number. Daingiring Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located in Pasigad. East Yang district and it was formerly known as Lali Meher Sanctuary but uh, later renamed as Deng Yiring Wildlife Sanctuary in the memory of late Deng Yiring. and it covers an area of 190 square kilometer. Eagle Nest Wildlife Sanctuary the Eagle Nest Wildlife Sanctuary is located in East Coming District, um, ranging in altitude about 500 meter to over 3,500 meter. And uh, the headquarter of East Coming is Seppa. It covers an area of 217 square kilometer, and the forest changes from tropical to subtropical with the change in composition of crop. The sanctuary affords spectacular views which makes it an ideal place to watch a large varieties of wildlife. Dibang Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located in the Upper Dibang Valley District of Arunachal Pradesh and established in the year 1992. It covers an area of 4,149 square kilometer and it is the biggest wildlife sanctuary of Arunachal Pradesh. It is rich in wildlife and rare mammals such as Mishmitakin, Red Goral, Red Panda, Asiatic Black Bear are also found here. And uh, recently a flying squirrel new to science has been discovered from the edge of this sanctuary. It has been named the Mishmi Hills giant flying squirrel uh, with the scientific name Petorista Mishmiensis. This sanctuary is located fully or partly within the Dihang Dibang Biosphere Reserve. Kamlang Wildlife Sanctuary. It is situated in the southeastern part of Lohit district. The name comes from the river Kamlang, which flows through the sanctuary and joins Brahmaputra. It covers an area of 783 square kilometer. There are about 153 spaces common in this area. Sources say that the entire area of Kamlang Wildlife Sanctuary could not be surveyed for its flora and fauna due to high and difficult terrain. Also, it is the third tiger reserve of Arunachal Pradesh and 50th in India. Five zero in India. Check out all the tiger reserves in India. 
Mehau Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located 17 km from Roying Town, that is the headquarter of the Lower Dibang Valley District of Arunachal Pradesh. It was established in the year 1980, and the Mehau Wildlife Sanctuary was declared with an aim to conserve the biodiversity around the Mehau Lake. It covers an area of 281.5 square kilometer, and the sanctuary also harbors some rare varieties of orchids. Kane Wildlife Sanctuary The Kane Wildlife Sanctuary is located at the West Yang district in Arunachal Pradesh, and I think it lies in the border of West Yang and uh, Lower Siang. So natives watching can correct me if it is wrong. And it is spread over an area of around 55 square kilometer and thus it is the smallest wildlife sanctuary of Arunachal Pradesh area wise it is a home to various and rare species of flora and fauna and uh, here we have one add-ons that is uh, not given in the official map of the department Tale Valley Wildlife Sanctuary it is a protected area in the lower Subansiri district of Arunachal Pradesh. It covers an area of 337 square kilometer and it was established in the year 1995. It is said that there are about 16 endangered plants that have survived in this area. In the official count of the Department of Environment and Forest, there are eight wildlife sanctuaries, one orchid sanctuary and two national parks. Maybe they'll update it later, so I don't have any personal say in the total count as of now. So just stick to the count of the department. Now coming to the orchid sanctuary, there is one orchid sanctuary called as the Sessa Orchid Sanctuary. It is a protected area in the Himalayan foothills in Balukpong Forest Division of West Coming District, Arunachal Pradesh and it was established in the year 1989 and it covers an area of 100 square kilometers it conjoins eagle nest wildlife sanctuary to the southwest and it is a part of the coming protected area complex which is an elephant reserve the department of environment and forest has also developed a trekking routes for visitors to enjoy the natural habitats of orchids now let us understand what is a tiger reserve. There are three tiger reserves in Arunachal Pradesh as of today. Um, but first let us understand what actually is a tiger reserve. About uh, the tiger reserve. The tiger reserve of India were set up in 1973 under Project Tiger. And it is administered by the NTCA, that is the National Tiger Conservation Authority. Project Tiger is a tiger conservation program and to protect the tigers. As the Bengal tiger is the national animal of India, this project aims to stem the dwindling population of the big cats and works to increase their numbers. Now, Project Tigers in Arunachal. They are Namdapa Tiger Reserve. It was declared in the year 1983. And it is in Changlang, as I have already told you. And second is we have Pakke Tiger Reserve. It was declared in the year 1999 to 2000. And it is located in Pakke Kesang district of Arunachal Pradesh and third Kamlang Tiger Reserve it was declared in the year 2016 and it is the 50th Tiger Reserve of India and it is located in Lohit and lastly as usual uh, here are some questions to test yourself Question number one, which is the biggest wildlife sanctuary of Arunachal Pradesh? Question number two, how many national parks are there in Arunachal Pradesh? Question number three, where is the Sessa Orchid Sanctuary located? Question number four, how many tiger reserves has been declared in Arunachal? That is still 2021. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजेस द नेशनल पार्क एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश so that is what i could collect since there are very less resources in the internet about arunachal pradesh therefore if you find any error mistake in my videos then please feel free to drop a comment your corrections suggestions and feedbacks are welcomed and for pdfs please go to my telegram channel and download it from there the link of my telegram channel has been given in the description below thanks for